Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at dynamic data, specifically dynamic titles for the year. Dynamic year in the breadcrumb, dynamic year in the meta description and title tags. So this is an SEO tutorial where we pull in the current year. You could probably extend this to pull in the current month, but I think current year is enough and an SEO tutorial on making sure that your year is always updated. When you're doing SEO for client sites, you don't want to write a hundred blog posts and use the year in the title and then have to go update that next year. That's no fun. Uh, generally, when you're doing SEO and writing blog posts, you want to make sure your content is up to date. So don't just rely on this title tag and say, okay, that's good enough. You need to be updating your content with uh, fresh content. But one thing you don't want to have to worry about is just going and updating those title tags uh, all the time. Same with your breadcrumbs and your meta descriptions and title tags in the head. So let's take a look at the DOM real quick. Let's look at the head and you'll see I'm using Rank Math and this is specific to Rank Math. So if you don't have Rank Math Pro, not all of this functionality will work. Uh, some of it will though. So we'll look at the meta description. Here's our post in 2023. That is a dynamic date. We're going to look at the title here, criminal law guide in 2023. That is the dynamic year as well. And then let's inspect this breadcrumb here. So I'm using the uh, breadcrumb from rank math and it's going to pull in the title of the page as well. Criminal law guide in 2023. Okay. So how do we do this, the, the hard part? I am going to use WP Codebox and register some filters with PHP. So this is a PHP code snippet and I will let you use it. So let's dive into WP Codebox and take a look real quick. So if you're not good with code, you don't have to be. This will teach you a lot about PHP. The first step is we're going to want to register a short code and I will show you why we're going to do that in just a second. And here's the code, add short code. The first uh, parameter here is what we're going to call the short code. The second parameter is the function. So we're going to be applying this function to this short code. So anytime we say this, it's going to run this. And all we're doing is creating a year variable here and returning the date, which is just the year. And then we're going to return that so that when we call this short code, that's what's going to happen. So let's go take a look at the post. So just like that first parameter, I'm going to have year and we can do that several times. We hit update. You should see that on the front end year, year, year. So anytime we call that right here, the short code, that's what's going to output. You know, a lot of folks don't like short codes because it can make your site messy. Use them sparingly, use them when you need to, and uh, everything will be just fine. I like them on uh, client sites that I manage, and it's clear that it's happening here right in the title. So let's jump back over to WP Codebox and take a look at some of the other PHP. I will not take credit for this part, uh, Rank Math Support, which is awesome, love it, helped me uh, figure out how to get the dynamic year into the breadcrumb, and they wrote this. So I didn't write it, but essentially they are adding a filter. Um, let's format this real quick, yep. They're adding a filter to the rank math front end breadcrumbs and they're running this function. And what this does is it looks for uh, this piece here and then replaces it with uh, the date. And I think that's because they don't allow short codes to run in their breadcrumbs. So they're doing like a fine replace not the best way, but it works. And that's what rank math support provided to me. Maybe they're going to update that in the future. So that's how that one works. And this should work on any site you're running rank math pro. 
So the next part here is to allow Rank Math front end title to parse short code. So this is the Rank Math filter for their title. Uh, so when you're using their snippet manager and their title, it's allowing this to parse out the short code. So all you're saying is let the title do short codes. Uh, this next one is to allow the rank math meta description to parse short codes. So same thing, we're just gonna let this meta description here parse short codes because it's not default out of the box able to do that. So that's what these little snippets do. And then this last part is adding uh, the ability for the title, which I believe is the WordPress filter for just titles to do short codes. So you have to allow the post title to do short codes as well. And that's to run this short code uh, function right here. So that's what it takes to make these things dynamic uh, using rank math. So at this point, you know, you could copy all this code and tutorial over, uh, but let's watch what happens if we start turning some of this off. So let's turn off the add filter on the title, which is WordPress title, and it's not going to be able to do short code anymore. So when we come over to our front end here, and that's our title. Now it's back to just our short code uh, text, which is what we have plugged in here. So on the back end, you're not going to see it parse. Uh, we probably could make that happen, but um, there's no need. It's, it's better to see that you're running this short code. Um, so on the front end, when you do not allow the title to parse short codes, that's what you're going to get. So that's what that does. So let's remove those comments and let the title do the short code. And there you go. It's uh, back up and running. Um, let's turn off the meta description. Just going to add some comment this out real quick. Let's save that. Let's take a look on the front end what happens. So we don't have the meta description here. So we're going to go pull that from the DOM. Let's go look at our head where all of that is stored. And now you see in the meta description here, it's not parsing out the short code. It's just that uh, short code uh, collar there and the text still working in the title, but it's not working here. So if we go back and uncomment all of that out, all we're saying is allow the rank math uh, meta description to parse short codes. So let's reapply that, refresh the page and go look. So we've got our meta description here and then the OG meta description as well. It's working everywhere. So that's how that's working. And we could test it for the breadcrumbs, but just take my word for it. It's gonna do what we want it to do. Um, unfortunately, it's not running the short code that we call here. We're replacing, um, replacing that and running it this way. You know, I might have to talk to their support one more time and see if there's a more elegant or a cleaner way to do it, but that's the way we've decided uh, it's gonna work. So that's how that part works. Let's hop over into the Bricks Builder and just take a look at how you can play with some of this in a code block if you wanted to test some of it. Um, so what I did here is just added that short code uh, that creates the current year to a code block. And then I'm going to echo that short code. So to echo the short code, you do your PHP open angle brackets and call up the PHP and say echo do short code. And then when you do the short code, it has to be just like this a single quote, your short code and close quote, and then close the parentheses, close the semicolon and then close the PHP tag here. 
and we're calling this as an h1. Um, let's see, what if we did class equals, I don't know, text Excel. Not sure if this is going to work in the builder, but it might. Do we have a text Excel class? We do. Yeah, it looks like it's not. Oh, yeah, no, it works. Awesome. Um, let's do text large. That should make it a little bit smaller. Yep. So you can run. This is automatic CSS. You can run your ACSS. Uh, classes in here, which is really nice. I've never actually done that, so that works. Let's do text extra small. So you can style up your H1 here, however you want. Uh, or you don't have to, you can just let ACSS do its thing on the H1 tag. Um, let's do color primary. I think that's the class, maybe not. I think it's just primary. Text primary, that's the one. Text primary should color that. Uh, I think mine is this kind of blue color here instead of uh, something brighter. But anyways, you get the idea. You can call your short codes in your HTML I've got another paragraph tag here. Here's some text in 2023, and we're just echoing that short code. Um, let's see if we can, I'm wondering if we can pull in the title here. I don't exactly have the snippet to do that, so we won't mess with that for now. All right, I couldn't stand it. I just wanted to go grab this real quick. It's actually really easy. Um, PHP, and then the title will automatically echo the title. So when we were looking at this little bit right here, activate shortcode function in the post title, this is saying, hey, we want to allow the title to do shortcodes. So I'm going to change... Let's go back to bricks. Let's go to pages. I think this is still saved as a draft. I'm going to publish that real quick. So let's do test in March here. This should work. This is a page. We're kind of getting experimental here. Um, See what happens. Yeah, it's gonna work. I can see it up here, test in March of the year. And let's look at it on the front end. Yeah, awesome. Look at that. So we can bring that into a bricks page just like we're doing it into a post. So this is a page template here and this is mostly powered by Metabox using dynamic data. So this is the post title. So there you go. Um, what I did in this code block is echoed this. Um, this isn't gonna come in the template right now, but it, it is working I, because I registered it. So if that's confusing, I'm sorry I made that confusing. What you're seeing in this code block is not coming across in on the page because my template does not have any of that anyways. The important part is we can call up in a page from a Bricks template uh, the title that is doing short code. So if you wanted to do that, you can. Awesome. All right, so really that is all I have to show today. Uh, this is really quick and easy. I will provide the code. Let's just go over a little bit about what we did before we wrap up. Uh, we played around in Bricks a little bit. Um, the title here is being echoed in this uh, paragraph, and we're just calling the page title. So 
the title is calling that short code. That's why you see that here. And the short code is not going to render inside of the uh, builder here, but it will render in the front end. Uh, this paragraph tag uh, block here is just here's some text and we're going to echo this PHP short code. And that's the syntax to um, echo a short code. So if you wanted to look at the docs, just type into Google how to echo a short code in WordPress and it will show you how to do that. And then same thing with the H1 tag, we added a class here and just playing around with PHP because it's important to add that to your skill set as well because sometimes you need to get in and tinker around with that stuff. Lastly, uh, let's jump back over into WP Codebox. Uh, went over some of these functions and snippets here. Uh, the hardest one was the uh, breadcrumb. So copy and paste. Uh, if it doesn't work, reach out to me in the comments and we'll see if we can debug. But if it's not exactly right, it's not going to work. So be very careful when you're adding this stuff. If you're not using rank math breadcrumbs, it will not work. So this is for rank math only. And then we went over the rank math front end title and the rank math front end meta description. Um, and then the title needs to be updated to add short codes. So it's just saying, hey, we want you to be able to do short codes. And this is how you do it. Uh, let's hop over to our blog post. And when you're writing your titles, uh, you could probably even put it, I don't know, let's try in a subheading. Can we do it in a subheading? Yes, we can. Awesome. Can we do it in a paragraph? I wouldn't really do this, but you know, Jurassic Park's one of my favorite movies, and I think Ian Malcolm said, I don't know, what did he say? We were too busy wondering if we could do it. We didn't stop to ask if we should do it. <laughs> I wouldn't do that here in like a paragraph, because how's a developer gonna find that if he, like someone else takes over the site? Oh my gosh, that'd be a nightmare. But up in the title, you know, it's very top, it's like clear what's going on. Uh, that's where I would do it. Anyways, yeah, we can do it in paragraphs, we can do it in headings, um, and it's popping up in the front end. We can do it in rank math breadcrumbs, title tags, meta description, and so, um, yeah, when you index this with Google, this is what you would see uh, in the search results for your title, as long as Google doesn't replace your title. And I've noticed that a lot of times they are not doing that uh, when you're doing this type of work here. One thing I would note that's gotten me a bunch of times is the slug will, when you do it the first time, it'll always do like, this, um, sorry, it'll do it just like this. And then you get ready to index your post and you're like, uh, that's not a good slug. So it, it will, the permalink, when you save your draft, will take your title and put it the title exactly in the permalink. So I always have to remember to go in and delete that. That's gotten me a few times. So don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's really important. Always double check your permalinks before you submit to Search Console and make sure that you have your uh, link set up exactly how you want it. And that is all. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this one up in 20 minutes today. All right, I know some of the tutorials get long, uh, so this one should be pretty quick and easy to follow. As always, if this is helpful, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your day and let's start being smarter with our development using dynamic data where we can. Don't make your life harder by changing title tags year after year after year unless you wanna charge for that. Uh, we don't at our agency, we do it the smart way. All right, everybody, have a great one. See you soon.